Hi there, it's Lonnie with Crafty Traveler. Thank you for watching. This is going to be part three of my trip to Kenya. And um, I hope you enjoy the video. And please, if you like it, give me a thumbs up here on the YouTube website. I appreciate you doing it on my Facebook, but this is where it really counts. Thank you. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and click the little notification bell. And when the list comes up, press all so you see future videos that I post. And of course, share with your friends and leave me a comment about why you liked my video. In this episode, you will we're going to go to the Nanuki Weavers and Spinners. And it is in the same location as the school. So you'll see the blue gate that goes into the school area and also goes to the weavers and spinners um, area and store. Um, I bought this shawl there. Um, they have beautiful things and you'll see some pictures of their projects. The Nanuki weavers and spinners um, is a self-employed, self-help project started in 1977 by the Presbyterian Church of East Africa with the aim to train poor, widowed, and single women living in the villages surrounding Nanuki town in the craft of spinning and weaving and knitting, as many of them um, are now self-reliant. If you would like to read more about uh, the spinners and weavers, I will leave their website in the bottom of the descriptions. Next we will go to the Jane Goodall Tapanga Sanctuary. It is surrounded by 129,000 acres of dense forests and is a rehabilitation center for chimps that have been rescued from the black market. And to read more about that, I will also leave the website in the descriptions below. After that, we pay a visit to Baraka, the blind black rhino. Uh, we got to pet him and feed him sugar cane um, from a platform safe distance away. Uh, for 15 years, he lived independently in the wild, but was often bullied. Sadly, one of his eyes was poked out in a fight with another rhino, and the other one uh, became blind due to a cataract. And you can read more about him uh, in the description. I'll leave the website. Our private guide took Lorraine and I to see the Rhinoceros Cemetery where rhinos who have been poached in the um, Conservancy property since 2004. And we also got to go to an extra uh, place where the equator was. Then we're on the road to Sweetwater. Uh, Serena Tent Camp, looking out at the landscape. We made a stop at a store and market and um, I purchased these panels and sewed them together. I'll eventually quilt them and you'll see more of their products there. Finally arriving at Sweetwater Serena Tent Camp and watch for the camels. You will see the glamorous tent we spent four nights in, complete with bathroom, and the area surrounding it. Watch for the water hole and all the animals that uh, go to the water hole. There's pictures of the perimeter ditch. It's about 10 feet deep, and there is electric wiring around it. The only animal that jumped uh, across was the water buck and, animal, and birds. All the other animals don't attempt, so we're in no danger at any time.
how they say hello. Baraka Blind Black Rhino. Blind in one eye due to a cataract, and the other due to fighting. He's 23 years old. Sweetwater. This is the tent Lauren and I will be staying in. Number three. As I pan, you'll see how the rest of the tents are set up. And we all look out to the water hole. Oh, there's a warthog, a big one. zebra's way out there. We saw a water buck earlier. There are marabou storks. The main lodge and dining area is there. And there are two tents next to us.
just at the water hole, right at our camp. Today is Saturday, January 20th. Giraffe has now come into the scene. Come down and get a drink. Elon and Giraffe. enjoyed my video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up here on the YouTube webpage. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and click that notification bell to all so you can see when I post more videos. And of course, share with your friends and leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching and stay crafty!